I thought I'll speak to you about my journey in uh, in government and how I ended up uh, in the government. People like me who have spent all their lives in the private sector don't really know how government works, so I had to learn learn from the beginning. I was very lucky because uh, I, when I first joined, uh, somebody suggested to me that there is a very good officer in uh, Jharkhand cadre called Ram Sevak Sharma, and Ram Sevak Sharma was also from IIT and seen as an outstanding uh, IAS officer. So somebody connected me to him and said, "Why don't you meet him and maybe he can join you in this Aadhaar journey?" At that time, I was the first employee of this UIDI. There was nobody else. So I was I invited him to Delhi from Jharkhand and we were sitting and having a cup of coffee and I said look we want to start this project we want to give every Indian uh, an ID we want to give 100 crore Indians an ID and uh, I'm looking for good officers to work with me so without a shadow of doubt Ram Sevak said I'm ready I'll join you so I said Ram Sevak you don't even know me how come you're joining me in this adventure he said look you took the risk of leaving your nice comfortable job in Infosys to do the project. I can take the risk of joining you on this project. And that was how the partnership began with uh, Ram Sevak Sharma, very fine officer. We must have full diversity of people uh, in our organization. I have five or six officers from the defense account services. I've got about four or five from civil accounts. I've got two or three from audited account. I've got, of course, the IAS people. I have a very fine officer from the Indian Postal Service. And we, have, of course, had to also get good people from the private sector because we had to address the issue of technology, which required some very good talent. So we were able to assemble a great uh, set of talent from the private sector. So this, this combination of people from government and the private sector, we brought them together to do the Aadha project. There are two basic problems that we are trying to solve. The first is, there are so many people in this country who don't have an identity, who don't have a birth certificate, who don't have proof of existence. Now this problem is much more than we think, because all of us may have some documents so we don't realize the problem, but in a state like, uh, you know, in, in, in UP or Bihar and many of the states in India, more than half the children born don't have a birth certificate. So there are literally crores of people in this country who don't have any proof of existence. That is, and that proof of existence is hurting them. Because if you cannot prove who you are, we are not able to get a bank account, we are not able to get our entitlement, we are not able to get security. The police can stop you and say, where is your ID and throw you into jail. Uh, you can't get a job, you can't get admission to college. So everything in life, is decided by identity. So one of the first major goals of the Aadha program is to give everybody an identity, but it is a unique identity. And that is what is different. When you get a, any other document, you can get more than one. You can get, you know, for example, I can get a voter ID card in Bangalore, I can go Bengaluru, I can go somewhere else and get a voter ID card. With the Aadha number, you can only get one number per person. We have about 25,000 enrollment camps going on any given day around the country and about 1 million or 10 lakh people enroll into Aadhaar every day somewhere in India. And we believe that if we can continue at this rate, we have built a system that can issue Aadhaar at the rate of 20 to 30 crores a year. Uh, that's how the capacity of the system. So if the momentum continues, if the energy continues, then in the next couple of years, by 2015, 2016, the entire population of this country should have an Aadhaar number. This is a project that nowhere else in the world has been done to give so many people an identity in such a short time. As you well know, government spends a large amount of money uh, on government programs, scholarships, uh, pensions, entitlements, loans, uh, subsidies for LPG, kero kerosene, food, fertilizer, all these expenditure of the government of India is more than 300,000 crores a year. 300,000 crores is the expenditure. And because the list of people to whom these benefits go is not, is not very strong, uh, there is a lot of diversion of that. And therefore, by using Aadhaar, 
you can make sure that the money goes directly into the bank account of the of the beneficiary without anybody getting involved we want to make sure everybody participates uh, in the economy and has a presence for example today only people in cities have bank accounts if you are living in a small village you can't have a bank account you can't keep your money safely in a bank what the aadhar system does is gives us a way to create agents or business correspondents in every village and they can then go there open a bank account keep their money withdraw money and so forth a very important part of that is the ability to do money transfers now again money transfer is a big challenge for people who are working in cities sending money back to their home is a very very difficult thing now what the aadhar system does is that all that in has the person has to do is in the city go to a location and uh, is called as a bc or a business correspondent which can be a self help group can be a anganwadi worker can be a grocery store he can hand over his money there and instruct that that money go to the account of his wife's aadhar number automatically the money will go and sit on the other side and then it goes to the other person so you can do that instantly at at no at very little cost having worked now in government for 5 years i realized how much more complex it is to work in government than it is to work in the private sector and i'll tell you why when you work in a private company like i worked in infosys for 30 years you can take decisions in your company you can take decisions whom to hire you can just you know if, if there's somebody who comes and interviews with you and you find that you like them you can you can hire them or you can choose any vendor you want you want to design a new building you like some architect you select the architect and give him the contract or you want to take a decision to to you know expand your operations in some country or you want to buy a company all those decisions can be taken very quickly in in the private sector when you join the government you realize how much more complicated it is to take decisions in the government because when you take a decision in government you are accountable to everybody but i'm happy to say that you know this project began uh, in august of 2009 i joined the government in july 2009 we had the first meeting of the prime minister's cabinet committee on uid in august of 2009 in that august meeting we took a decision that we would have 60 crore people on the aadhaar platform by 2014 and i'm really happy to say that we are already at 56 crores people who have aadhaar in in india and we will reach our goal of 60 crores in the next couple of months and i can say that of my experience working in the government with government lifelong bureaucrats with great energy with great inspiration great hard work has been one of the best experience of my life thank you very much